And it was at precisely this moment, I knew the weekend was over. Well, good morning from Donington Park. Yes, I know I need a haircut and I have got a spot on my forehead, but we'll just brush that aside. So we've already had the, we had a track day, not a test day. It was all right. Um, it was on the GP circuit layout, whereas today and tomorrow we're racing on the national circuit. Uh, so the Melbourne loop isn't there, which I think I actually prefer the longer version of the track, just because I prefer the left right of the Foggy S's rather than the right left of the Robert chicken. Um, but yeah, it didn't go too bad, other than the fact that my group was literally brimmed with Superstock 1000 riders, some of which are a lot better than others, so the likes of Tom Neve and Joe Francis when they come past, it's like a considered pass and you know, they don't sort of ruin the lap what you're on, whereas some of the others are a bit more desperate and they're just, you know, it's a bit, bit sketchy for no, no reason, considering it's only a track day. Well, uh, yeah, nonetheless, it was a decent day. It is damp out there, but it is drying. It, it came down pretty heavy last night for about six hours, I think, maybe even longer. Um, but yeah, ready to go out there. Got a decent setting for the bike. Pretty sure it's going to be dry tyres, so I'll probably go and get my tyre warmers on now. And then I'll, <coughs> I'll catch up with you after qualifying. Oh, by the way... If you haven't watched my BSB vlog, go and get watched because it's fucking awesome. So, we've had race, we've had qualifying and the race. Qualified seventh, but we did have a little bit of a uh, bike drama, which is why I didn't update you afterwards. No, I didn't crash, uh, but I got sort of, I think five laps in or something like that. And the bike was misfiring, but only in, well, not misfiring, just like juddering quite a lot. Uh, only in fifth gear, it was alright in all the others, which is a little bit strange. So again, check the obvious things, check the wiring, spark plugs, resistance on the coils. Uh, and then someone suggested about changing the, the uh, tea bag filter on the bottom of the fuel pump. Well, a couple of people suggested that actually they'd had like a similar trouble. Um, so I have a spare fuel pump and it had a brand new tea bag filter on the bottom so when we took the fuel pump out of this bike it was absolutely disgraceful really was bad so that's uh, definitely bad maintenance on my half um, so I was feeling quite com confident that that would fix the problem um, so qualifying seventh wasn't too bad given the amount of laps I'd actually done uh, which I think it was six, but that was just like cruising around trying to figure out what was wrong with the bike. Um, yeah, so then we went into the race, made a decent start off the line, um, but sort of found myself with nowhere to go. I ended up in the pit lane, exit, and then had to sort of roll out of it before I ended up on the grass. Um, and then for some reason, I ended up in the wrong gear for all of the corners on the first lap. So my drive out the corners was terrible. I was like in fourth gear when I should have been in third. So that was a bit naff. Um, yeah, so, and that bit, I brought it home in ninth. Um, made an overtake on track against Lyndon, I think it was. Um, I've done my best ever laps around here today. Uh, 11.9 I did in that race and I've, I've changed the bike set up a little bit, maybe I can find a little bit more then. Spoke to Aaron Sylvester, who is like my little uh, magic genie, he tells me uh, bits of info which really help. Complain really. I, I would have liked to have been higher than ninth, however, haven't done my best lap times. Um, I can't really complain. So that's it for today, which is Saturday. So I've got practice in the morning try out these, uh, well, a few little tweaks we've done to the bike. Maybe we'll go even faster, so we'll find out tomorrow. Well, it's Sunday morning. Um, 
good day yesterday. Um, as I already said, I mean, lap times were good. Position not so great, but I think we'll be able to uh, go better than that today. Um, made a couple of changes to the bike, so I'm going out in the practice session this morning, which is in about an hour's time. It's definitely a lot colder this morning, um, but I, I think this will all come out, so I can't see that affecting things too much. <laughs>
said, uh, had a good race two, which was the first race of today. Managed to make a good start and first lap. Uh, I was rolling around in, I'm pretty sure it was third place, which, yeah, considering the guys I'm racing against, I was really pleased with that. The pace, it did help seeing what they were doing, and it helped me lower my lap time down to 11 2 now, which my previous best here was a, like a, a 12 3 or something. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, there might even be some more to go, so we'll, we'll find out in the next race. Um, but yeah, so just give the bike a clean. Weather's lovely now. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a clean, put the fuel in. I thought I was going to be touching go towards the end of that race, actually. I went with 8 litres, and my light came on with like 3 laps to go, so I was panicking a bit about that. And yeah, the extra pace meant I was having to use slightly different gears. Uh, down crane I was actually having to use like fifth gear because fourth just wasn't fast enough anymore which then meant you got to come back to at the old hairpin um, but yeah can't complain let's uh, see what we can do in the next one So I was racing around Donington Park, absolutely loving life. That doesn't look like Donington Park, does it? That's because it's not. Dropped a valve again. So, yeah, the engine is probably, well, <laughs> hopefully it can be fixed. Like Hello, uh, just thought I'd drop this little bit on the end of my vlog. As you've seen, dropped the valve again, which is not good. Um, watching the videos back, I can see how you know the engine does take a fair bit of stick, so that I can try and be a little bit less aggressive on the down change uh, to limit the stress going through the valves. That said, I've obviously rode an R6 foot. This is like the third season now, and I've never had this problem before. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will be the last of it. I'm going to change the riding style a little bit. Um, and hopefully we can not have any more valve failures going forwards. Um, then just to put on the end of this, I would like to thank uh, Richard Parrott of Hartlepool Motorcycle Service Centre. 
Paul Rochester of Northeast Customs and also Craig Metcalf of Metcalf Northeast. Um, the three of them all chipped together um, to help me get a spare motor. So just in case uh, we do drop a valve or you know have an engine failure of some sort in the future, I'll have a spare motor. So hopefully it won't be the end of the week and like it has been twice already this year. So thanks for watching the vlogs. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be from Croft. Looking forward to going there, obviously it's local round, so yeah, looking forward to that. Thanks for watching.